miracles, signs, wonders, and especially direct voice of God only occurs in three significant eras, which then was written down and inscripturated in the inspired word of God. He spoke directly to Moses, but then Moses wrote those things down. Same thing with the prophets. God did many miraculous things, but then those were written down and became inspired scripture. Same thing with Jesus and the apostles. Many miracles confirming that Jesus was the son of God, but then the revelation that was given during that transitional period is what we know today as the New Testament. And between those key eras in the progress of redemptive history, there are long periods in which God did not directly speak to people as a normal experience. Rather, he expected them to trust the sufficiency of what he had written. And we are in one of those periods now where we ought to trust the confirmed word that God has given to us, looking for that blessed hope when Jesus will come again. But we ought to not expect that God will be doing miraculous things, signs, and speaking directly from heaven because we have a sufficient word. Where is he getting this from? Why is he ignoring all of the other books of inspired scriptures in between those little points on his goofy line? Does he even realize what this theory implies? And, you know, since we're supposed to trust the sufficiency of what's been written, let me ask you, where does the Bible say that we're in a period where God is not speaking directly to his people anymore? Hogwash. If we're trusting the sufficiency of what's been written, then let's go ahead and talk about what's been written. What's been written is, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. That's written. You will hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. That's written. It's written, all of those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. It's written, do not forbid speaking in tongues. It's written, do not despise prophecy. It's written, earnestly desire to prophesy. It's written, these signs shall follow all them that believe. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up again. And you will lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. It's written, in the last days, God is going to pour out a spirit on all flesh. You know, it's so ironic to me that they ignore and supplement what's been written on the basis that what's been written is enough. This is why, once again, cessationism is a completely self-defeating idea.